this is the nail art design we're going to be working on today. Let's get started. We're going to begin with the French manicure design. I'm starting off by outlining the smile line of my French manicure with a white color and just filling in the top area. The reason I'm beginning with a white base color is because this helps later on when I'm going to add the green and the blue so that the colors look a lot more vibrant. But this is an optional step but it does help out a lot. Over one side of my French manicure, I'm going to be filling it in with the blue color. And the opposite side of my French manicure, I'll be filling it in with the green color. For the next step, I'm going to be using a flat brush and I'm going to be dipping half of it in the blue color and the other half in the green color. I'm going to align the colors how I added them over my French manicure. I'm just going to go over my nail several times. Once everything dries, just apply a glitter polish of your choice. Now I'm going to be outlining the smile line of my French manicure with the black color. Don't worry about it being perfect. We want it to be thick and sloppy. Here I'm going a little bit upwards with the black color so that the line becomes a lot thicker. Now applying a gold glitter color. This goes on opaque, but it dries glittery gold. So I'm just applying it over the top area of the black line. Once everything dries, just apply your top coat to seal in your design. Now let's move over to painting the next nail art design. For this nail art design, I began by applying a white color over my entire nail. And I'm using acrylic paint here, but you can also use nail polish for this step. Once everything completely dries, it's time to go in with the second color and I'm using the green color. So I'm just applying it over my entire nail. Now using the blue color, I'm just spotting certain areas of my nail. Once everything dries, apply a glitter polish of your choice. For the next step, I'm going to be using the flat brush again and I'm going to be dipping half of it in the white color and the other half in the blue color and just go over a surface of your choice several times. For the first flower petal, I'm just tapping, tapping, coming in sideways, forming that first flower petal. I'm going to go in with the second one, doing basically the same thing, just rounding off my brush, coming in sideways. And I'm going to go around doing the same exact thing. My flower is going to consist of six flower petals. The best advice I can give you when it comes to this technique is to practice over a piece of paper till you get the technique right, then bring it down to a smaller scale, your nail. I'm going to go over each of my flower petals one more time so that the colors become a lot more vibrant. I'm also going to be painting a half flower over the corner of my nail using the same exact technique. And I'm also going to go over each of the petals one more time. Using a black color, I'm going to be filling in the center part of my flowers. And I'm also going to be outlining each of my flower petals, beginning by dividing each of the flower petals. And I'm just going to outline the rounded outside part of each of them. To add a little more detail, I'm also going to be painting two little lines starting from the center, going outwards towards each of the flower petals. Next, I'm going to dip my detail brush half in the white, half in the green, and I'm going to use this combination to add more detail to the center part of my flowers. Using a small size dotting tool, I'm just adding tiny black dots to the outer parts of each of my flower petals. Now it's time to paint the branches. You go ahead and paint the branches wherever you feel the most comfortable according to where you painted your flowers. Now it's time to paint in the leaves. I decided to paint them with a black color. This sort of gives the design an abstract feel. So just go ahead and paint your leaves according to where you painted your branches. Once everything dries, it's time to apply a top coat of your choice. And that's it for this nail art design. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and give this nail art design a try. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!